but, but, but here's, here's the challenge. In the church, we think everybody that comes in the church has the love of God in them. The writer says, you got to be willing to fight. Somebody say, who we got to fight? Watch what it says. It's right here in the text. First, you got to be willing to fight the enemies on the outside. He says, there's some savage wolves that will come in among you, not sparing the flock. You, you, you got to be willing to fight some enemies that are trying to come in on the inside. You got to tell them, no, 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 we ain't, no, we don't do that here. This is not, this is not that kind of church. This is not that kind of place. No, you can't come up in here running with all that foolishness. No, we can't do it. No, we on one accord. We on the same. We are in alignment with one another. No, we can't do it. That's not where we going. And watch this. If you can't line up, you really need to leave. No, 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 y'all, y'all, listen. I'm, I'm trying to help you here. Life is too short to have somebody as your pastor that you don't respect to be your pastor. I'm just saying what I'm saying. From this day forward, If he can't be Pastor Booker, if he can't be your pastor, then find a church where you can have a pastor. Preach, Cofield. I know. Don't, don't, don't try to diminish what God has done by calling him by his first name. Don't, don't, don't try to diminish what God has done by calling him by his nickname. Don't try to diminish what God has done by trying to refer to him in light of his BC days when God has called him and placed him where he is right now. <laughs> 